everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kasaya. This is Saya Swag. And we have a tutorial for one of the bags that we sewed up with the designer in our Sewing the States with Kathy from K Dale Handmade. We made these adorable nougas at her house with her and she taught us how to make it, which was super fun. Um, I enjoyed every second with Kathy. Kathy, thank you very much. And I and now trying to get video tutorials up of every bag we do for sewing the states. So I didn't have one for this. So here we go. So this is the one I did with Kathy. I love it. It's adorable. My mom saw it the second the video was done and said, I want one. <laughs> so in this video, I make my mom one. Um, this is the one for my mom. She wanted plain on the outside and crazy on the inside. I did add her a little floral pop of a strap. If she doesn't love it, I'll do a black one for her. But I really like it. It's a one and a half inch strap, um, but I used one inch triangle connectors and it worked out great. Okay, let's go over this adorable bag. It is made out of Lux nylon, which you can get from Wonderground Fabrics. Um, this floral, ooh, this might be Zipper Valley. I think this floral webbing is from Zipper Valley. I freaking love it. It's just so pretty. This has a front zipper pocket here. It has a back slip pocket here. Fits. I have a big iPhone. It fits my big iPhone perfectly. And then inside is fabulous. You have six card slots and another zipper pocket. It's got all, all that you need. It is such a fun bag to make. It goes pretty quick. I have seen lots of different versions of this. I've seen it in clear vinyl. I've seen it in jelly. I've seen it as a wristlet. So have some fun with it. Play around with it. It really is a fun bag to make, especially for gifts. Um, yeah, hopefully this video helps. I want to give a shout out to one of my top Patreon members, Kelly Crampton. Thank you for being a member of my Patreon. She's a thread head, which is the top tier. And she recently posted that she now has one of every color of my thread, which is amazing. So now I have to bring a new colors, right? Um, Kelly, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And let's see, anything else? If you have comments, if you have questions, put it all down below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. I did do a live video yesterday cutting this and three other patterns out. So go check that out if you want. And let's start sewing this amazing bag. Okay, let's quickly go over our pattern pieces for the Nuga. I did a live video cutting this out with a couple other different patterns. I've also sewn this up on the Sewing the States. So you've kind of seen it. Hopefully you know what pieces are involved. Okay. So I have three exterior pieces. I'm using this Lux Nylon from Wonderground. Um, one of them is going to be part of the slip pocket on the back and there's instructions on how to cut this. So I went ahead and did that. So three of those. I have all of my connectors, my zipper tabs, and all of that kind of good stuff right here. And the nice thing about the Lux Nylon, you don't have to interface any of it, which is amazing. It makes great hip bags and little crossbody bags. It's my favorite. Okay, so you should have four of these cut out, same shape as those exterior pieces. Four of these total, I did interface them with a woven. And one of them is going to be the back side of that slip pocket. And I cut that out as well, according to the instructions. My inside pieces... I have my card slot. This will be my card slots. I did woven out of my seams. I just did a half inch out of all of my seams. My side panel pieces for those card slots, two of those. And then my zipper pocket pieces, two of those. Um, that's it for the pieces. It's a really quick cut, which is fabulous. Easy pieces to cut out. I am doing a webbing, one inch webbing for my strap. I have three cuts of zipper tape, my swivel clips, my, I'm using these triangle connectors, a slide adjuster, three zipper pulls, 
and some rivets for that strap. I'm going to put some rivets on the strap when we do that. And then my nameplate. That's it. That's all you need for this cute bag. So let's start going. We are going to do some prep first for our zippers and our connectors. So I have my nine inch zipper to start. I have my zipper tabs. I'm only doing um, exterior ones. I don't feel like we need the underside. It'll just make it thicker and um, you never see the underside. So it's up to you. You can do um, you can do both. So if I did both, I would have one here and one here. I would sandwich that zipper and sew that and then flip them both out like that. But I am just gonna do one on the top. All right, so go ahead and sew those on. And just pay attention to the seam allowances that she gives in the pattern. Okay. And then I'm just gonna flip that over and top stitch. And then I will repeat for the other side. This Lux Nylon is hard to tell <laughs> which side is which, but we will do our best. Okay, so that is my front pocket zipper. Now I'm going to get my main zipper and I want it on the closed end. So it opens towards this end. I wanna put the zipper tab on this end here and we're just going to fold our zipper tab in half and then fold those raw edges to the middle. It's just a little guy, that's just a little tab. And we're gonna fold it like this. So it's raw edges in. All right, and then we're just encasing that end of the zipper, which mine's pretty tiny. I think, I think it'll be okay. And then we want to sew that down. The Lex Nylon's awesome, but it's just a little slippery. Oh, that didn't sound good for my underside bobbin. It got all caught up in there. Yep, look at that. That's okay, that won't even be visible in the bag, but I am gonna do a second row of stitching on that. Just to make sure it's all good this just a little bit so it's not tangled and I'm gonna do one more row of stitching on this zipper tab beautiful okay and then I'm going to I was going to go ahead and turn it down, but I forget how long it needs to be. Let me look real quick. Okay, I want my zipper to be nine and a half inches long total. So I'm going to take this and just mark it across at that nine and a half. And that's where my fold is going to be. Now you can do this fold as you sew it to your bag, or you can do it ahead of time like me. 
It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and do it though right now. So I've got my, you know, two markings right there. I'm going to split my zipper and that's going to be my pinch line right there. I'm going to pinch it and pull it down at that 90 degree angle right there. And then same on this side, pinch and pull. All right, just like that, it should be nine and a half. Looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and baste that zipper down and then we'll trim it. All right, so my main zipper is all done and ready to go. I'm gonna set that aside. Got my front zipper. I'm gonna do my triangle connectors next, which are these two pieces here. We just wanna fold our raw edges in and we are going to top stitch that down. You can mark it too. You can mark where your center line is if you want. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. It doesn't have to be exact for this one. All right, and then I'll fold my other raw edge in and I will top stitch that down. take my triangle connectors and baste those on these pieces. And slip that in. Okay, and we're gonna baste the bottom just to get it to stay in place. With both of them. Awesome. And then, okay, for the strap connectors in the pattern, she has it written that you have a square cut out and you cut that square in half and those are your connectors. But um, I talked to the designer, Kathy, about this and she said as she kept making them, what she did was when you trim down this pocket piece, you know, from corner to corner, this piece that you cut off on both sides 
she just used that as her strap connectors. And so that makes sense because <laughs> I thought it was a little bit different what we did on the Sewing the States, so that makes sense. So she just uses the pieces from this pocket for that piece G strap connector. So that's what I'm gonna do. So these are my pieces from that cutoff pocket. All right, so they're a little bit bigger in measurement than what is in the pattern as well. And I kind of like that. I kind of like the bigger size. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold those in half. All right, so those are your this is my folded side here. And I'm going to, let me make sure I have this pulled up. I'm going to stick this in. Well, you could do it either way. It doesn't matter. I'm going to stick my connector in and I want it to have a little bit of an overhang. Okay, you don't wanna make it flush. You wanna have it just like, hmm, about a half inch, she says, a half inch overhang, so about right there. That's about a half inch. All right, and you want it up at the top, but not all the way up at the top because your hardware is butting up against this side right there. So it's just got a little room right there. All right, so I'm gonna clip that into place. And then we will sew along that side. Okay. So this is just a little bit different than what she has written in the pattern. All right, so that is my little connector there. I'm just gonna trim this down. Now I want to turn this out. Just like that. And get that little corner poked out up here. I want that to look nice. Okay. So that is my connector there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch along here and here and close up the end. So that's what your connector should look like. That's one. I'm gonna go ahead and do my second one here. Remember it's up by this folded corner here. And those are my two connectors all done. Next up, we're gonna move on to the lining because we're following the steps she has in the pattern. So this is my card slot piece. Um, she has all of the measurements that you need to mark. I mark them all on the back of my card slot piece. Um, and she explains you need to do valley folds and mountain folds. A valley fold will be in, right? So this is a valley fold. So your first one's a valley fold. So you're going to take it and you're going to fold it wrong sides together at that first one. And then you're doing like a fan fold. So the next one is a mountain fold, which means it comes up like a mountain. So the next one you fold up and then valley and then mountain and then valley and mountain. And they just, it's a fan. 
you, fan fold or valley and mountain, okay? So you get all of those folds together, give it a nice press, a nice iron, and we are gonna take and top stitch along these three folds. So you should have one, two, three folds. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch along those folds. All right, so after you have those top stitched, looks nice. I have already drawn my line down the center of my card slots, and we need to separate these slots into two sides. So I'm just going to be sewing down the middle. And I am gonna start all the way at the bottom just because it gives it a little bit nicer look than just starting at the fold. And then I will um, back stitch a little bit along each top of the card slot. Just gives it a little bit extra reinforcement for taking those cards in and out. That is my finished card slot. So now you wanna take these side, two side pieces here, your side panel pieces, and they should measure up. If they're a little bit longer, you can trim them down. Well, actually it should be that. <laughs> so my card slots are a little short, so that's okay. What I'm gonna do is center this side panel here and it's like barely an eighth of an inch top and bottom and that'll be fine. But if your card slots are a little bit longer, you can always trim those down. See, I have just a tiny bit extra, that's okay. That just means my folds were just a tiny bit too big on my card slots. does not mean I need to redo them. There is always a good fix. And it'll be made up for in that seam allowance. All right, so I'm going to sew those on each side, and then I will flip and top stitch them on the panel side of these card slots. Kathy also told us when she was making this with us that right here along these um, side panels is where she likes to put a little tag. If she's doing a little inside tag, slip it right here in this seam sticking out. And I think that's a really cute spot for it too. Just a, just a side note. So my seam allowance is going out towards the side panel. And I'm top stitching through that. Okay, so there are my card slots for one side. Looks good. Let's do our zipper pocket. Our inside zipper pocket is going to be placed centered and a half inch down from the top. I have my box drawn on the back of this. I'm just gonna fold this and center it along right sides together. So right sides are kissing each other there. Okay, you should see the wrong side of this zipper panel. Now I wanna sew around this rectangle zipper panel. 
And you want your stitch length to be a little bit smaller on this. That's what you should have. We're gonna go ahead and cut that box out. Do a little Y-shaped or a V-shaped cut to your corners, but don't cut those um, threads, those seams. Get close, but not too close. There you go. All right. Now we wanna pull this zipper pocket through. And then I will take that to my iron and I'm gonna iron that nice and flat on the other side. And then we will install the zipper. All right, so it's nice and flat. It looks great. We're gonna go ahead and install my zipper. I have double-sided tape along each side. I want it opening from left to right, so I'll make sure and put it in my opening that way. I'm gonna take off my bottom first and then my top. Get that centered in there. And then I'm going to take off the top. Right there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sew around this top stitch. Right there. Here we go. That's what you should have. Now we want to put the back side of the pocket on. We're not going to leave the pocket open. We're pulling the bag through the lining. So we can go ahead and right sides together, put that lining on and completely close up our pocket. Now, if you wanted to leave your pocket open and do the whole pull through the lining, pull through the pocket and close up, you could do that. But for this small of a bag, I think it's fine to just leave it in the lining. All right, here we go. I'm gonna just close this up. Make sure you pull your lining out of the way. You don't want that in your seam. And go ahead and close it up. I'm doing a bigger seam allowance along the top of this pocket, just so I can get that extra, I'll trim it down so it's out of my top seam.
Okay, it's all closed up. Looks good. I'm just going to trim along the top a tiny bit. You don't have to, but I'm going to. All right. So that is my two lining pieces. Let's head on to the exterior. Okay, so I'm going to take two full panels, a lining and an exterior, and I am going to do two cuts on each of them. Well, one cut on each of them. So two cuts total, two inches down. So now I have two pieces of my exterior and then I'll have two pieces of lining. Cause we need to make a zipper pocket on the front part of this bag. My blade's a little dull here. Here we go. Okay. Another thing I'm going to do before I go any farther is I'm going to put my nameplate on this um, part of my exterior right here centered a couple inches down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll continue making this front zipper pocket. All right, so I have my name tag on there, covered my prongs, and put some Decaville behind it just to give it a little extra, a little extra security. Okay, so I want to take my exterior and my zipper. I have clipped all of my centers on everything, so everything has their centers marked. I'm going to take my zipper right side down, zipper to the left, and I'm going to center those, and I'm going to baste this on first. Um, if you don't want to baste and you want to just add the lining piece and do your full seam allowance all at once, you can do that. But because my material is kind of slippery, I want to make sure that this is held in place really nicely first. So I am definitely going to baste first. All right, here we go. And basting is done at an eighth of an inch seam allowance and it's a bigger stitch length just like top stitching. And your tabs should be a little long, like you should have a little overhang and we will trim that down when we are all done. So they should go over a little bit. Okay, so next I wanna take my lining piece, this bottom lining piece, I'm going to sandwich right sides together, center it all up, and then I'm going to do my full seam allowance along that top now. All right, so now I want to fold out the lining here and I'm going to fold them right sides out so my wrong sides are together. My zipper is facing up and I'm going to top stitch along the bottom part of this zipper. Okay, so that's what you should be looking at. Now, if you're doing a hidden zipper flap, now's the time where you add that. I am not doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the next part. I've got my 
top part, I'm going to do it right sides together along the top part of the zipper now. I'm gonna baste that first. I know when I sew with black, it's a little hard to see. I apologize for that. But you'll have to forgive me because this is what my mom wanted. <laughs> okay. Then we want to take this part. Okay. I'm going to take the bottom or the other top part behind this. Sew it the same way, right sides together, full seam allowance. And then we'll flip them both up, top stitch, and then add the back part of the pocket. Also going to trim down those zipper tabs real quick while I'm here because we don't need those sticking out. Okay, flip that up, flip this up, and now we are going to top stitch. So you should have your front looks like this, your back looks like that. We are going to take a full lining piece, your last full lining piece here, and we are going to place it on top and we are going to baste all around. Connecting it all together and making your full pocket. Mine's a little uneven, and that's okay, because again, you make up for that in your seam allowance. I'm gonna try and move that up just a tiny bit, though. Yeah, either way I go, it's gonna be off just a tiny bit, that's okay. I'm gonna sew from this side, so I'm sure I'm catching everything.
All right, next up, let's work on our back slip pocket. So I've already cut my pieces, so they're all beautiful and cut already. I'm going to put those right sides together along these diagonal cuts here and sew down these diagonal cuts, these diagonal sides, I guess I should say. All right, so sew along these two sides. Here we go. We're gonna take this and turn it right side out. And I'm just gonna give it some clips here. If you have all cotton, obviously you can take it to an iron and iron this really nice. All right, so we're going to top stitch along these seams that we just sewed on our pocket. Okay, just like that, we're gonna top stitch along these two seams. Here we go. Awesome. That's what you should have. Now we want to take our other piece here and I'm going to make sure, let's see which side this is. It's so hard to tell. <laughs> Maybe it's this side. <laughs> All right, I'm going to mark my centers real quick and make sure I have this centered and lined up. All right, and now we want to baste it onto our back main exterior piece. I'm gonna clip it there, here, and here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and baste it on. You don't have to baste it all the way along the bottom at this point, but I kind of like to keep all my pieces together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There we go. All right, we have all of our pieces sewn together. We are now going to put it all together. I want to attach my um, cross or my I want to attach my strap connectors so I'm going to line them up. I'm just going to line them up right above my slip pocket here and right above oops my slip pocket right here. So you want these D ring or triangle connectors coming in down by the pockets right here. Make sure you have these laying correctly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put a couple clips on and baste these to my exterior.
Beautiful. All right, so now I want to take my top zipper pocket. I have my centers marked. I want to take my front panel here and we are going to start attaching the zipper to all the pieces. So I want to take my zipper right side down. I want both of my zippers in the same spot. So they're both to the left. I'm going to mark my center here. I did not do that. Let's get my center marked on this. Okay. Line those center markings up. Again, I have my zipper marked. Okay, I'm going to baste this on first. And then I will add a lining piece to the other side. to unzip that next and then if you want I think she suggested the card slots on this side because when it's on you and you're opening it these card slots are easier to get into so I'm going to put my card slot panel make sure it's going the right way I need my center clipped on this as well okay so my card slots are facing up Right sides together with my exterior. My zipper is sandwiched in the middle. There's my center. All right, we're going to sew this on at our full seam allowance. Awesome. So once that's sewn on, we want a top stitch. My kids just came home. <laughs> you can hear all the footsteps. Okay, so I want to top stitch this, but I want to leave my lining out. Just because when we're all done putting this together, if your lining is top stitched with your exterior, these corners are going to lay funky when your bag is all done. But if you leave this out, of that seam, it lays a lot better in your bag when you're finished. Trust me. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it with my lining out going this way. My seam allowance is going towards my exterior, so my seam allowance is going down towards my exterior, and I'm gonna top stitch through that seam along my exterior. And I just kind of fix it as I go. It's a little thick because of the materials. So, but my machine can handle it. That will lay nicely in your bag when you're done. Don't worry about it. It'll still lay nice in your bag, even though it's not top stitched down. All right, so there's my first half. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact steps to this other side of my zipper.
Okay, so you should have your two exterior attached, your two lining attached, and now we're going to put this all together. You wanna put your two exteriors and your two linings together. I'm gonna to open up my zipper a little more than halfway there. I'm going to line up my side seams first where my exterior and lining meet and make sure those are even. I'm gonna clip that first. So I really want those to line up on both sides. All right, good. All right, and then just clip everything else together and then we will sew this all. We are going to leave a opening in the bottom of the lining. So don't forget that you need a turn hole. And then we will increase our seam allowance on the lining and make that a little bit bigger so our lining is not baggy in our exterior when it's all turned out. Okay, so we'll leave a hole down here. And I'm gonna start right up here on my exterior. Here we go. So there is an option, oh, before I go any farther, there is an option to do rounded corners if you wanted to round your corners off on this bag. I'm just doing straight corners um, they end up looking a little rounded when you're done. I don't mind the look of it. So you do have that option to do rounded or just square like these are. And then I'm gonna increase my seam allowance a tiny bit for the rest of this. And then I'm going to come off at a 90 degree angle here to give it a little extra reinforcement for when we turn it. All right. And then I'll come back on here. Don't forget to go back to your normal seam allowance as you get to the top here. gonna trim my corners here because I don't want them really big and bulky along those seams. You can trim this seam allowance down just a little. at it making sure everything looks okay all right we're gonna go ahead and turn this bag what a fun little make okay 
here we go. Open that zipper the rest of the way. Grab that bottom part of the bag. You can grab a corner, it's up to you. And start pulling that through. gonna need a tool to help poke out these corners here. a little better. This Lux nylon is amazing, but it's a little hard to get these corners poked out with it. Can you imagine if it was interfaced? Yikes, it'd be even harder. Definitely don't need to interface this Lux nylon. Okay, okay, there you go. Much better. Corners poked out. Okay, I'm just going to put it in so we can see what we have here. Hey, look how awesome! Front, back. Inside, all we gotta do is close up that hole in the lining and then I will make my strap for it. Okay, onto the strap. Okay, so I'm gonna do the strap real quick. I changed my mind. I'm, I'm going with this floral one last minute. Um, I think it looks really, really cute with this. It gives a little pop. So we're gonna do the floral and I just am going to attach it all with rivets. Okay, so let's just do it. And I'll put two rivets along each side.
All right. Ah, did I drop all my rivets? Okay. We will slide snap hook down. Zoop. Up and over. And then we'll put the other one on. Just like that. Ooh, I like that. That's cute. All right, and then same thing, two holes. There is my strap. All done. Okay, we are all done with my nuga for my mom. I hope she likes it. I did the floral strap last minute. I just thought it added a really cute pop. Either she loves it or she doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> I can always make her another strap. But it turned out really cute, you guys. I know a lot of people have done videos for this um, bag already, but if you haven't gotten on the Nuga um, train, I suggest you hop on because it is such a fun make. I've seen it in a wristlet. I've seen it in clear vinyl. They are all super, super fun. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. That would mean so much to me. Let me know if you guys have any comments or questions down below. Um, go check out our Patreon. We have a Patreon group now that's super fun. Um, and it supports what I do. It supports, you know, the Sewing the States mainly, which is a super fun series that we did with Kathy sewing this up. Um, and that's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody.